we're going to look at the effects of outliers on the measures of central tendency, uh, most specifically the mean, median, and mode. Right. So first of all, what is an outlier? Well, an outlier, an outlier, whew, an outlier is a data value that is significantly different from the others in a set. All right. So I want to do some kind of compare and contrasting so that we can really see not real, not a, not just what an outlier is, but the effect it can have. Right. So that's what we want. So first things first, basic data set. Right. We've got five numbers in a data set. We want to find the mean, median, and mode. Now, by looking at these, none of these numbers are drastically different. So we're not looking at an outlier here. So let's first, let's find the mean. So recall, to find the mean, we're going to add these all together. So 12 plus 14 plus 14 plus 16 plus 20 is 76. So when I take 76 and I divide by 5, so our five numbers, I get 15.2. Great. The median is the middle number in the data set. Now, in this case, my median is 14, okay? So 14 is the number directly in the middle. And the mode is the number that appears most often, which is also 14. Okay, great. Keep those numbers in mind. Now, I'm going to use this same data set, except I'm going to add one more number, 400. So you can see how 400 is significantly different, right? It's three digits, quite a bit higher. How does this impact? Well, if we look at the mean, right? Okay, again, we add them all up. So now we have 476, and we're going to divide by 6. So 476 divided by 6 is roughly 79.3. I'm rounding now. Now, the median is in the middle, and since 14 and 16 are both in the middle, we take the average of those two, which is 15. So my median is 15. And uh, the mode is the number that appears most often, which in this case is still 14. So if you compare the numbers from the last one, which is basically the same, right? We had 15.2, 14, and 14. So we throw in an outlier, and you can see that the main, whoops, the main impact was with the mean. The median and the mode stayed very consistent. Okay, now that was if we added a really large number. So... Okay, we just said that it impacts uh, the mean, not the median or the mode. So now let's look at a next data set. So we have six numbers, same basic thing. Let's add these together. When I add these six numbers, I get 470. And there are six numbers, so I divide by six. All right, that gives me a mean of roughly 78.3. I'm rounding. The median, again, is the number in the middle. So if I take the average of 75 and 80, I get 77.5. And the number mode is the number that appears most often, which is 75. Okay, keep those in mind. Now, these numbers aren't super huge, but they're all between 75 and 83. So if I add a seventh number, four, it's pretty different, right? I would say this is an outlier based on the other six numbers. So now if I find a mean, I add the seven numbers, 474, I'm dividing by seven. My mean is 67.7. My median is the number in the middle, which is now just 75. Number that appears most often, 75. Compare that with the last ones, 78.3, 77.5, and 75. So again, you can see the mean and the, excuse me, the mode and the median, not much change. It's the mean that takes the biggest hit. Now, the real life example that I would like to talk about, and we're only going to do the mean here, is housing prices. So let's say we have the, you know, we're looking to sell a house in a neighborhood and we've got four houses uh, priced at 94,000, 125,000, 118, and 131,000. And then there's like this big house on a bunch of land really close. That's $2,130,000. Um, so if we're saying, what's the average, you know, price for a house on your street? Well, if you're finding the mean, again, the mean is we add these numbers up. So if I add these five house prices, I get 2,598,000, and I divide by five because there are five houses. This tells me that the average price of a house on my street is 519,600. Now, the majority of the houses are under $132,000, right? Which is, right, that's a normal house price. Well, I guess depending on where you are. But that over $2 million house skews the data. 
right? It makes the average way higher than really what it should be. So uh, just remember, outliers impact the mean, not the median, not the mode. Thanks all.